Okay, we're looking here at how to make concrete formwork for piers for a house or garage or whatever. Now, you make boxes of course for the concrete to go in, but what we did was, I think the, uh, you know, the frames of the boxes were external and the linings of the boxes were made out of masonite or fibro, with the smooth side of the masonite or fibro on the uh, inside of the box, and then we, uh, of course, we painted the fibro to make it, uh, we painted the uh, inside of the box to make it nice and smooth. And uh, the secret to this nice smooth surface was we put some car grease, but you could use uh, vegetable oil or uh, what else? Olive oil even, yes. You could margarine, grease, anything to make it not stick. So once the boxes were painted and prepared, they were uh, lined with grease. And another thing, a little tip, although this isn't the smoothest corner that we've ever done, but if you want a smooth corner, line the, line the boxes for your piers with, uh, put some in the corner of them, inside the boxes, put silastic or putty, and smooth it with your finger so that you have a sort of slightly curved surface. And then when your concrete is finished, you'll have a nice uh, curved edge. And uh, let's have a look. This one over here is a bit more curved. Yeah, it takes practice. That's a nice curved surface. Look at that. And of course, if you uh, want to avoid little air holes like these, uh, we got used to it too. You can uh, reduce all that by punching it down with a crowbar. I think they have a big uh, mechanical vibrators that you can insert in the box, and it goes and it. Uh, uh, makes the concrete settle down, but what we did was we used a crowbar to punch all the concrete down into the box as much as possible and that reduced the um, number of air bubbles. So, just remember when you're making your boxes, paint the inside of the boxes on the s with the smooth side of masonite or fibro inside the box. Uh, put some silastic or putty down the inside corner smooth it with your finger the putty so you've got a smooth surface in the corner and you get a nice smooth finish on your concrete let's get around now and have a look at some of my other just uh bits of our other bits of molding nice smooth corners there slight impression from where the silastic was but uh basically nice and smooth Beautifully, beautifully smooth. Not all rough like a lot of people do their concrete. Just make sure you put plenty of grease or, or mineral oil or olive oil or whatever on the uh, box work and it won't stick then once you remove all the boxes. Looking around under the edge of the house. All our piers were made in this beautiful way nice professional looking rather than rough looking. A lot of people think it's because it's under the house and it's going to be covered up, it doesn't matter, but it's nice to do it beautifully if you can. This was the first concrete formwork we did uh, 25 years ago for our garage and we used the oil, smooth oil method for that lovely smooth surface there. See how smooth it is? That was our first experiment using uh, grease on the box work to make it lovely and smooth and it's still nice and strong after all these years it's lovely and smooth but at that stage we didn't know about putting silastic or putty down the corner of the box so just here you've got a much sharper box corner so that can be avoided by putting putty or silastic in the corner of the box and to make it nice and smooth let's just have a close-up of that now Here's the, uh, here's the original corner not done with uh, putty. It's all very sharp. That sharpness can be avoided by lining the corner of the box work with uh, putty or silastic. You get the picture anyway. That's how to make it lovely and smooth. Lovely and smooth that way. So go to it now. You know how to do it. Lots of fun. Nice smooth formwork. That's how it's done.